Good morning all. What's the story? Morning Glory? Well, my story today is that I'm looking at the 33k resistor and I'm kind of thinking this is all wrong. Now, don't get me wrong, I really love the 33k resistor. Um, even as a small child, I think this was my favourite resistor because it's just so sort of fruity, isn't it? Orange, 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 yum! So why have I decided that the 33k resistor is all wrong? Well, here's the story. So I was looking at my uh, bulk resistors. Now I've got 100 ohms, 1k, 10k, 100k. These are the ones where I bought boxes of a thousand resistors, kind of in the hope that I would never run out of this particular value. And I was kind of thinking, what could I buy to expand this set of resistors? Well, I could get some 10 ohms, which is the next decade under 100 ohms, but a thousand of those, I don't think I'd get through those very quickly. And I could get some 1 meg, which is the next value up um, decade-wise from 100k, but I'm not sure I'd use that many 1 meg resistors either. So then I was thinking, well, how about values which fit between these values? So how about uh, a resistor that uh, fits halfway between 1K and 10K? What would be the value of that resistor? Don't say 4.7K. Yeah, and I mean, of course, my first thought was 4K7 and 470 ohms and 47K. But that's not the right value uh, based on the fact that this is a logarithmic scale. Well, let's imagine that this is logarithmic paper. Yes, logarithmic paper. Um, I'll mark on 100 there, I'll mark on 1K, I'll mark on 10K and 100K. And look, I've spaced them equally. And I've done that intentionally because if I write these numbers a different way, and that is 10 to the power of two, 10 to the power of three, 10 to the power of 4 and 10 to the power of 5, you can see that these um, indices, these exponents, are linearly spaced 2, 3, 4, 5. And uh, now, of course, it's much easier to find the value that's uh, halfway between 1k and 10k. It is 10 to the power of 3.5. Right, well, we can work that out. Let's use Android calculator because it's just so fab. Uh, 10 to the power of 3.5. And there's the answer. It's 3162. So I need to buy some 3.162K resistors. Uh, do they exist? Now, if I do manage to find some 3.162K Resistors, oh no, they'll be, oh yes, they'll be there. And some 36, uh, no, 31.62K resistors. And this one, which would be uh, 316 ohms. Well, I've effectively created the E2 resistor series. Now, of course, there is no E2 series of resistors. So let's do a series which does exist. Let's do the E3 series. So, Wikipedia, the E-series of preferred numbers. Um, E-series preferred numbers were chosen such that when a component is manufactured, it will end up in a range of roughly equally spaced values on a logarithmic scale. So, what we need for the E-3-series is we need to split each, uh, each decade into three values. So we're going to have the uh, value based on 10 to the power of something, but we're also going to have two more values. So this one and this one, this one, and this one, this one, and this one. Let's calculate those. So 100 is 10 to the power of two. This number here will be 10 to the power of two and a third. This number here will be 10 to the power of two and two thirds. So let's delete uh, 3.5 and we need 10 to the power of 2 and a third. So that's 2.333333 lots of threes. And we get the answer uh, 
So I'm actually going to write that in here. It's going to be 2.15k for that value there. Okay, let's do the next one. Uh, I've got to do lots of deletes there. Uh, so that's 10 to the power of 2 and 2 thirds. So that's 2.66667. That's probably enough. And we get the value 464. Now, do these values look familiar? Well, if you round them up, you get 2.2k and 4.7k. So the E3 series is very simple. Let's start at 1k. We've got 1k, 2k, 2, uh, 4k, 7. Then we go to 10k. Then we would go to uh, 22k and then 47k and so on. There are only three different values. Here we are, lists. E3 values are just 1.0, 2.2, and 4.7. Now what happens if we round these numbers a bit more aggressively? Well we end up with 1, 2 and 5 and we're all familiar with those numbers. Look, 1, 2, 5, 10, 20, 50, 100. Oh that's a Peter Rabbit, they're worth £5,000 each according to the Daily Mail. And a few Americans, one, oh, there isn't a two, but there is a five, ten. Oh, there's no 20, it's a 25. Weird. And for something we're probably a little more familiar with, one millisecond per division, the wrong way, two milliseconds, five, ten, twenty, fifty, a hundred milliseconds, two hundred milliseconds, 500 milliseconds. We know the 1 to 5 range pretty well. So let's now calculate the E6 series. Now I'm just going to do one decade. It'll be 10 to the power of, and I'm going to do it as fractions this time. So I'm going to do 1 sixth, 10 to the power of 2 sixths, 10 to the power of 3 sixths. Now you can see that um, 10 to the power of 3 sixths is um, 10 to the power of a half. Well, I'm not raising these very well, am I? 10 to the power of 4 sixths and 10 to the power of 5 sixths. Those are all the numbers uh, apart from 10 to the power of 1. Right, so let's do this with fractions. I'm going to do 10 to the power of open bracket 1 divided by 6 and we get uh, 1.467. So I've rounded that to 1.5. The next one is 10 to the power of 2 sixths, or 2 divided by 6, 2.15. And uh, here are the results. Um, and these are very familiar numbers when you round them. So we've got 1.5, 2.2, 4.7, 6.8, .2, and 10. These are the resistor values in the E6 series. But I can't round 3.16 to get it to go to 3.3. It's just too far. When I round it, I get 3.2. So what's going on there? Now, maybe this is a choice uh, from the very early days of resistors, because in the days of 20% resistors, 3.3 um, minus 20%, which is 2.64, is actually compatible with 2.2 plus 20%, also 2.64, so they just about touch. Um, it also works in E12 series 10% resistors because 2.7 plus 10% is 2.97, uh, 3.3 plus 20% is 3 also 2.97, so yeah, they just touch. And uh, maybe this all dates back to the early days of resistors. Um, these vintage resistors possibly date back as early as the 1920s, maybe 30s or 40s. But here's a 33k resistor and they were very easy to mark. You just dip them in a pot of orange paint. Three, three, three. Similarly, 22 or in this case 220k, red, red and the yellow dot was just an easier thing to put the paint marks on. Um, here we have a four yellow, seven uh, purple, green, so this is 4.7 meg. This one is 8 to 82k. 
This one actually has a silver end, so this one is 10%. The ones with no silver or gold band are actually 20% resistors. Um, this one, again, is a 33K. It's all orange, but it has gold paint on one end. So this is 33K, 5%. So the 33K resistor, my favorite resistor, is a bit of an oddity. It really should be a 32K resistor. Or in the case of this E6 chart, we should round it here to 3.2. But it never was. It was rounded to 3.3. Why? Well, maybe it was just because they look nice. Fruity and tangy. Cheerio. Now, this has kind of been sorted out because if you look at the article the E series of preferred numbers again. If we scroll down to some of the later series, the E48, the E96, and the E192, the values here are spaced so closely that they had to sort out these rounded numbers. So 2.2 was no longer suitable. They had to go to the more accurate 2.15. 4.7 had to be moved to 4.64. And here's the anomalous 3.3. And yes, that's been moved all the way to 3.16. All the other numbers are fairly close. 1.5 is 1.47, 6.8 is 6.81. This one is a huge difference. And in fact, um, in the uh, E192 series, 3.3 doesn't appear until much further down here. So yeah, 3.3 was always a bit wrong, but it's now been sorted out. So that's okay.